Okay, um, hello again. I'm going to be doing the second half of this missile tutorial, uh, this time with torpedoes. Um, the first half was with the vertical launch system, um, which was highly successful. I'm going to disable the um, vertical launch system while I'm working on a torpedo system. Right, so the torpedoes are built in a very, very similar way to um, vertical launch. If you want a bit more detail on all the equipment that you can use for missiles, um, I would suggest watching the vertical launch video as well. Um, right, so for torpedoes, I'm going to be building them at the front of this boat. You can bit pretty much stick them anywhere you like, just as long as they're not vertical. I've, I've not found a good reason to have vertical ones yet. You can stick them on the side, you can stick them underneath, you can stick them on the top, just as long as they get off of your boat and into the water torpedoes don't care where they're launched from. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to build some connectors. So I would suggest using connectors for every vehicle you uh, build uh, missiles on because they can give you the positioning for your missiles. I'm going to make them seven wide similar to the vertical launch system. Now you can see I've got a lip, uh, a one block lip on this. So where I placed um, launchers, uh, what do they call them, launch pads on the sides previously, I'm going to place them on the top this time, two, three, four, that's seven, so we've got seven of those launchers. So currently they're not connected to a missile controller, so I'm going to do that now. A missile controller is required for all missile based systems, uh, otherwise they won't be connected. Okay, so next we're going to need some gantries. So the gantry um, can be as short or as long as you like. Okay, in my previous video um, for the vertical launch system I did six long. I'm going to do eight this time. Okay, so a note is, if you don't see any torpedoes or anything appear in, in the tubes as you're doing it, you probably haven't got a controller connected. And it's also quite useful to know when you've had your controller destroyed or something in a battle, because you won't see them there either. So, <coughs> I've got seven now. Um, I'm actually going to modify my boat's design slightly as a just-in-case. Okay, so I've flattened out the rest of the deck as a just in case. Um, let me just go. Okay, so I've flattened out just in case there's a problem, so they just slide off. Okay, so there's an extra feature I'm going to add to these, which I did not add to my vertical launch system uh, for many good reasons. Um, so if I go into missiles again, uh, we're looking at the ejector add on. Now, the ejector add on has to be added onto the side of the launch pad. It cannot be added to connectors, it cannot be added to the bottom or anything else, it has to be on the side. So bearing this in mind when you're designing these, um, that if you're putting connectors on it on them, the connectors can go along the bottom, but you'd have to put these on one of the sides. And if you want it to be on all of them, you have to have a free side at least. So there we go, I've added them on. You can have up to four. Um, each ejector provides a boost um, does it give the exact amount? Uh, no. It does stack though, so any effect is stacked. Um, it does provide it a forward launch rather than using the missile's actual thrust. Um, while I'm t talking, I'm going to reverse this boat so that we can get a bit of a line up so we can do things over distance. Okay, so I've gone in to edit the missiles, and as you can see, they're all bodies at the moment. So the first thing we're going to need is torpedo propeller. Now, depending on the length and how fast you want them to go, you can actually have more than one propeller. I would suggest using at least two. Um, in a similar setup to the um, VLS, two fuel tanks, two fins, although more fuel tanks, more distance. Just remember that torpedoes use a lot less um, 
uh, what is it? Let's go back last A lot less um, fuel for use it, uh, for the propellers than than the um, uh, thruster type systems. Okay, so at the bottom here, I'm going to add a torpedo sonar. The sonar has to be probably the most useful um, torpedo piece of equipment. Um, okay, so what do we got left? Uh, we've got laser beam designators and riders, which we're not going to use because we're using uh, we're going to be using the APN guidance system. Okay, and that's now added. And I think that's all of the parts I need. I'm also going to add a regulator in. Now the reason I put a regulator in is because this will make them last longer rather than exploding before they hit the target. So something I'm also going to add is a magnet. Because there's quite a lot of body pieces left, I've got space for a magnet. Now, magnet range. So you can change your range for the magnetic damage and things. So, magnets. Start time starts after 10 seconds and it has a range of up to 100 meters, which is quite helpful. Um, the ejection azimuth isn't really an issue at the moment. Neither is a guidance activation. Okay, so we've got two, three, four, five. So we've got six body parts left. Explosive, fragmentation, and EMP are our main types yet again, similar to previous. I'm going to use um, explosive and fragmentation, half of half, half and half even. Okay, so this missile has now been created, um, or torpedo. So I'm going to assign the design to all of them. So you can see they're quite large missiles, um, torpedoes. I'll get that right one day, and they are now ready for firing. However, we can do a couple of extra bits here. So similarly to our um, vertical launch system created in the previous video, we can use the identified friend or foe and a staggered fire add-on, which I am going to do. So the sta staggered fire add-on, we've got a 0.1 second delay between each launch pad. I'm going to add a 0.2 second delay. Okay, so I've managed to rever reverse at some distance from that vehicle over there. Um, I've come out of build mode now. Okay, so um, as I've disabled the vertical launch, they won't fire, and these will. So I'm going to fire these. Um, I've currently got a path view on, so we can actually see the paths they take. But I'm going to follow one with the caps lock. So what I'm going to do is fire. Okay, they're now in the water, and they're now in torpedo mode. So, as you can see, it didn't do a lot of damage to this vape. That's partly because they kind of blew each other up. There is a hole at the front, but that's it. So, we can now modify our torpedoes. So we know explosive can do damage. We know fragmentation can do damage. However, I'm going to use fragmentation for the lot assign it to all of them and fire again. But before I do, I'm going to add another point 0.1 because they were quite close to each other. Okay. Let's follow one. See where it goes and what it does. So as you can see it doesn't use any fuel until it hits the water. And the fragmentation grenade, uh, the fragmentation pieces have actually done their work. They've taken out quite a few pieces. Okay, so this is not as powerful as some torpedoes can be. So I'm now going to demonstrate with a full rack of explosives. Okay, and the last thing I'm going to do, and I'm going to make sure there's a half second gap between each one of them. Okay, so I'm going with this one. Okay, so this is a full rack of explosives. Right, let's go see what happened. 
So there's a few pieces floating in the water. Now this time you can see there's been quite a few. So explosives are probably the most powerful weaponry to take out low armoured things. However, if you can get a mix of the two, fragmentation can take out stuff inside a lot, lot better than from the outside. So if you know you're aiming for critical systems like engines or whatever, you probably want some fragments. So maybe follow up a set of explosives with a set of fragmentations right behind. Um, obviously you can set them up with their different numbers in the uh, um, system, so I'll demonstrate here because you can. So on the controller you've got your weapon control slot down the bottom left. You can set them up and then you can use specific weaponry in rows, so you could have a row of 10 explosive followed by a row of 10 uh, fragmentation, rather than firing all at the same time, where all may damage both sets of torpedoes. Um, anyway, so I hope this has been quite useful. Um, if you've got any suggestions, comments, ideas, um, thoughts or so on, please let me know. Um, at some point I will put together a harpooning tutorial because they are great fun. Um, harpooned require only two parts. It does not require the cable drum. It does require the harpoon and it does require... Uh, where is it? the winch. Um, the winch has to be attached to the controller for that weapon. You can have as many lines as you want attached, but I believe you require a winch per line. And it has to be on the side similar to the launch add-on, uh, ejector add-on. Um, but I can't remember off the top of my head because it's been a while since I've done it. Anyway, um, thanks for watching.